Okay guys, um, so if you've probably seen my SSC video, just got it today. If you haven't seen it, um, I'll put a link in the description or a note on the video so you can watch that video also. Mm -hmm. Sorry about, I'm just going to move the camera a little bit. And um, this video is going to be a how to install an SSD or maybe a hard drive in the ThinkPad and replace the card one. And also, how to install the old hard drive, old hard drive or a new hard drive and the hard drive caddy for the ultra bay. Also guys just to let you know right there they got a battery for the ultra bay from Amazon. They said it's a T61 battery. It's not the connectors. Okay quick let's say about the T61. What's good about this laptop? Is it T60 or any previous models in the Ultra Bay? They only had um, um, the previous models of the ThinkPads from IBM. The Ultra Bay down there on the left side, they had a um, oh my God, what's it called PATA. What was it? What does it stand for? Parallel a Parallel ATA on the left side, and in the middle they had uh, in the middle they didn't have anything, and on the right side they had the battery, right, the battery connector. This one on the left side it has the uh, it has the parallel ATA. In the center it has the serial ATA, and on the right side it has the battery. But the battery has two extra pins. Now the battery Amazon said it, um, it was a T61 battery, so it didn't really fit because of the two extra negative pins. But anyways, let's get to the video. Um, so let me take this out here and use it on my laptop so I don't put any pressure on it or scratch it. And by the way, this laptop gets scratched really easily on the top. I already have like 20,000 scratches on it. But anyways, so this is the front of your laptop. You don't have to do anything with the front. You flip, ouch, scratch it again. You flip it around and first thing you want to do is take off the battery. So there's no power going anywhere on this notebook. If you have an ultra bay battery, take that off too as well. Because the ThinkPad always drains that before it puts the battery inside it. But anyways, let's let me take my screwdriver out. Whoa. So my screwdrivers. So where it, the hard drive is is at bay right there. That's the hard drive bay. So, I'm going to zoom on to it for one second, sure, how to do it, take your screwdriver, screwdriver, twist it to the left, and I just feel more comfortable doing it like this, it's just faster. Once you're done unscrewing it, keep the screw in a safe place, and take the lid, just push it up, there we go, so it's out. And then, you see this thing here, just pull that out, take it, and pull the whole, whole hard drive out. Okay, these two, you don't need these two, these are for the SSD, if you want, these are, these are for this bay right there, so take these off, keep it close to the door so we can put our SSD in it, and here, let me zoom out. This is the hard drive itself, and this is the caddy for that bay. So we want to take this caddy off also, uh, okay, to put our SSD in, because we're not going to be needing that anymore. So what we did was we just pulled it out, took these two off the sides, and we're left with the hard drive. But it has, still has this like Lenovo caddy on it. So, guys, let me get my smaller screwdriver for the back of the room. Sorry about this inconvenience, I don't have anyone to fill it for me, or give me a hand here, so, um, get this, and let's see what type of screws are there. Let me get my screw here, and let's start unscrewing the screws on this thing. So again, let me just take it off like that, just take it off. All four screws, two on each side. This um, 
Caddy also helps. And by the way, this is a Hitachi drive. Think pads come with Hitachi drives because of their reliability. And it's a 5,400 RPM, so it's not as fast. And um, this caddy on the bottom, well, if the thing pad drops, it has the accelerometer inside it that automatically shuts down the hard drive. And um, even though it shuts it down, you also have these rubber grommets that go around it and um, kind of um, absorb the shock. And even after that, you also have this which protects it okay not very much but still good so this is now a normal 5400 rpm two and a half inch hard drive so first things first let's um put put these two aside and install the ssd and i'll get to how to install this in there later on in the video so that's over there. We can get to the Intel SSD, the beast. Here's the Intel SSD. Uh, like I said, I'll put um, I did a review on it. I'll have it there. Mm. By the way, I was thinking that it would have a much better quality to it when it arrived, like made out of better stuff, maybe like the brushed aluminum or something. But it wasn't, unfortunately. It's something cheaper. And this is, by the way, the 330 series, not the. 530 or 520 so it might be my fault too for getting a 330 I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it because after all the ThinkPad only has um, well the lot of money was only maybe $15 more but the ThinkPad has a SATA 1 after all so no matter how much money I spend on an SSD I'm not going to get any boost in my speed and later on when I do a oh sorry guys a review on my desktop you'll see the three SSDs that I have in there and I'll test it for you in Addo I don't know if you know about that or not um, and I'll show you how fast they actually are it's surprising pretty surprising ah god sorry guys where did it go I would help a lot if these um the screwdriver I had here was magnetic, but it's not, so. So, there we go, guys. One last screw. Bear with me here. Uh, there we go. So, one reason I chose Intel was because of the reliability and, um, Linus, Linus Tech Tips guy, um, did a review on it. He threw it in the basketball. Nothing happened to the basketball hoop. Um, they're known to be pretty reliable, and it's on the desktop. I want to show off the looks, so I wouldn't really care. And as you can see, it's a 120 gigabyte one, reliable for a reliable ThinkPad. And um, so SSD secured by this metal thing, and SSDs are pretty hard to destroy. So. But probably not even need these. And then also by rubber grommets on each end, so that's how it would end up looking. And then, this is how you insert it in the unit. So this is the back of the unit, and this is the top of the SSD. So technically it goes up, upside down in the bay. And since this is a new, brand new drive, it might be kind of hard to install. Maybe to push more. Oh, actually no. This fits in. Thanks to the guys at Lenovo and Intel. Really know what they're doing. Put the screw back, guys. Boom, we're done. Now that's only half the thing, the half of the video we plan to do. So the SSDs installed, done. But what about the hard drive? You don't want to throw that away. So if you get this hard drive caddy off Amazon, by the way, uh, this is a. Uh, Sold by um, AZM Tech or something. I don't. Rev I think I did a review on it at some point. Uh, did I do it? Did I upload it? Yes, I did. It's in my ThinkPad batteries video. So it's something like AZM Tech. You can check that out. I'll put a link on the on the screen so you can check them out. And um, basically, you just put your hard drive in hard drive in there. Oops, sorry, you guys can see that. You put your hard drive in there. Um, Although this is not an original Lenovo one, 
It's an aftermarket OEM reproduction. It looks very nice and looks just like the Lenovo one would. And so, you just grab the hard drive, put it in there, lift this. Or actually, you can even leave it down because I've done this once before. It doesn't really matter. Just so you have to kind of push hard inside. Let's, let's do it like that. Better way. Do it. Kind of need to push it hard so it really gets stuck in there. Yeah, that's why you don't want to. Okay, you guys just have to make sure that that stays down there. It doesn't pop up. Otherwise, otherwise it would get stuck in your ultra bay. So, there we go. Now the hard drive and the caddy right there, like this. It would help if it had a cover on it on the top, so you couldn't see all that stuff, the hard drive and stuff. But maybe the guys who designed this over at Lenovo and the uh, aftermarket production, the OEM one, I know who made it. No brand on it. So um, the guys that designed it want it to be like semi hot swappable, so you can just take the ultra bay out, pull this tab, take the hard drive out, put a new one in, and you're good to go. So there we go. Now we can, guys, we can put our battery back in our ThinkPad. Right there, I'm going to put the battery back in it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I did a review on the ThinkPad batteries also. You can check that out. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Get it off. There we go. So. Now that we're done, um, the Ultra Bay is right there. You can see my original ThinkPad review. See how the review on the Ultra Bay and the whole ThinkPad. So you just take that out. Pop this in. Sorry if it's too zoomed in. Like that. And boom. I'm going to repeat something from my batteries video again. A lot, when you want to buy this off Amazon from AZM tech or something like that, but please check out my battery review also. It's a more in-depth review of the Ultra Bay also. Um, I know it kind of sounded weird there, but um, people said that since it's an aftermarket reproduction, it doesn't quite fit well in ThinkPad, but you, you guys just saw it fits perfectly better than the, the, the battery original from ThinkPad that didn't even fit in it. It just goes in there, glides in there smoothly, and it's not perfectly flushed, it's a little bit, like maybe a millimeter inside, but I don't know how that could be bad, it's good, and they have the hard drive light, and it feels just like the ThinkPad plastic, so nothing over there to complain about, and to pull it out, you just push this, pull that, and it's out, there we go. So, since I want to install Windows on it, I'm going to put this back on. Once I've installed Windows, oh, sorry. Once I've installed Windows, I'll do another review on the boot time of this machine. So, guys, thank you very much for checking this video out again. Sorry if the solid state drive video was a little bit shaky and stuff. Kind of in a hurry today. It's my friend's birthday, my camera guy. So, I have like a doctor's appointment also. But thank you for checking this out, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and my videos will get better in the future, hopefully, after I get a little bit of experience. Okay, thank you.